Hey guys, I'm out here in Cowarts, Alabama. This is Davis. Davis and I have some things in common. Number one, obviously, we both have bees. And uh, Davis has kind of, in a way, become my mentor with the commercial stuff. Number two, we both went to a school called Houston Academy here in Dothan, graduated from there. We both have kids there now, but the third grade class at Houston Academy, is that right, Davis? That's correct. Um, they want us to do a little video uh, going through some bees, kind of show them a little bit about that. So we're going to do a short video and talk about some bee basics here and uh, just break into a hive or two. Just kind of identify some different parts of a hive and talk about it a little bit. Okay, here we go, Davis. Uh, tell us about some of the basic pieces of equipment you need to do a bee. Bees. All right, so this is, a bo this is a bottom board. And these are the supers and deeps. The bees come in the entrance here and uh, form, you know, the hive inside. This yard right here that we're in is uh, what I call the swarm yard. Anytime I catch swarms, I bring them back to my house. Uh, I try not to have too many hives here because we're kind of in a, a neighborhood and want to keep the wife happy, not have hundreds of hives out here. This is a old hive that was a swarm from last year that I left here and the queen was failing earlier. And about 40 days ago, I killed the queen that was in this, added a new queen cell and they took her and they have rebounded it pretty tremendously. I'm gonna pull this frame out because they're kind of bound. I don't want to roll them. Kind of a new frame. Yeah, so I can so kind of- So it won't pull. be as fat and wide and yeah, have as bad of a chance of- easily pull her out. Isn't that cool? Look at those bees. So they have already drawn this out. When he says drawn out, he means all this brand new white comb right here is so pretty. They're and just the, building it out. The queen's already started to lay in it. So you can see in that area right Hopefully there. You can see some eggs. I don't know. We'll try. There are. Two little dots right there. Yeah, you can see. Little them. rice granules. Right here, those are eggs. That means the queen is laying. That means there's for sure a queen in here. This right here is a frame and it's got this Wax. We use this plastic. It's like plastic. It's the shape of honeycomb right here. Little hexagonal shapes. They build wax on that in that shape. So yeah, they, they, they've started to draw this out. This was a foundation frame. The rest is some old comb. Like I said, this was an old colony that I requeened this year. I was not expecting them to do so well, but the uh, the queen cell we put in is taken off. She's, she's laid a couple bees. In fact, there's a bee hatching right there. She is being born. That's pretty cool right there, isn't it? Here she comes. Just a brand new baby she bee is coming out. And hatching she'll... out of her, there, here she comes. she comes. All her sisters are saying hello. She's like, it's so bright out here. And she's gonna look a little weird like a newborn baby. She's but kinda she... gonna be like a, like a blonde, like a real kind of light color. But there she Look is, out. a brand new, freshly born bee. How cool is that, y'all? She's on, slowly girl, coming out. She her wings. takes them a while. They gotta work their way out. Get her wings out. There she goes. Right, there she is. And that is a newly born bee right and there. She will go right to work. What do they do first, Davis? Uh, mostly they're gonna become nurse bees and, and do grooming so and stretch and, her wings a little bit. And then the old nurse bees that she replaces will become foragers. A good brood pattern. What, uh, is, what is this right here? So all the every single circle here will hatch a bee just like that. This is so, like I call it a sheet of brood. This is yeah. like cocoons the baby bees are in, like that little mm -hmm. bee just came out of. Mm -hmm. And the queen will she'll lay an egg. Mm -hmm. Then after three days, the egg will hatch and they'll kind of have Pupate. a larva in there, which we may see some of those in Let's there. Let's see if we can find some larva. And then when they get to a certain point, it's almost like they spin a cocoon and they put that cover on there, which we call a capped brood. And they stay there for a while and then they eventually emerge. Down here in the corner, see that, that looks different. This right here is what we call drone brood. Those are the male bees. They're a lot bigger. There's a big drone right here. So that big old bee looks like a bulldozer plowing through there. Uh, there's a drone that's a male the rest of all the workers pretty much are female all the other bees but the drones are big they got big old eyes if a brand new queen is is born they'll fly off and they'll mate with her their main purpose is to mate with the queen that's a good sheet Look of brood that. that's beautiful this is what you want to see right here you go through a hive you want to see this sheet of brood all under there touch mm -hmm. the bees all this brood right there and they say how many cells davis you know how many cells are on one of these frames i think about two thousand on each side right so yeah so when you that's know, born, we're looking at like, you know, anywhere be... from from two to four thousand bees from that frame of brood right there. So yeah, this this colony is going to need a super probably, which we'll give to them. Uh, maybe pull one of these honey frames out and give them another small frame to start working. But yeah, there's some larvae that's not capped yet. 
there's this right here is where you put a queen cell. Now, yep, right? that was the uh, that's, that's where, where the you, queen. You can buy queens that are in what they call queen cells, and they'll emerge and become a new queen for this hive. It's a plastic little cup that they use. This is a queen cell they've made naturally. I'm not sure what they're trying to do here. It's a, it looks I like typically queen, leave them because just let them, yeah, just, just let, let them, them do what they want. I don't like to. In case they're trying cut them to up or anything. The queen. Yeah, they use those to replace the queens. They, they're. I'm in this hive once every three right. weeks. They're here every day. So. so what's this right here? This is honey. That's what honey looks like when it's in the hive. See him mash it with his finger? I got beautiful honey right there. That is honey right so there. So good. Right now we got everything blooming out here. So they're, they're trying to put some honey in these hives. There's still a queen in this, Bruce, because yep, yep. there's definitely eggs. So, But I'm yeah. still going to leave them that, that yep. queen cell for sure. So there's a little bit of brood. Uh, this right in here is different. This is pollen. You hear about bees bringing in pollen? All that in there, that yellow and orange, all through here. So the bees process it, they bring the pollen in on their legs, and that's actually nectar. This is nectar, this is kind of honey that's just been brought in nectar from the flowers. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're gonna process that right, and then they'll cap it like it is over here. Yep. And that's when you can harvest it when it's capped. Mm -hmm. Thank Davis, these bees are calm, man. They're, they're living, enjoying life right now, aren't they? They are in a good mood right now. That's yeah, just a, that cap. a frame of capped honey just right there. straight up honey. So, so what we're going to do... If we're going to harvest honey, this is what we're looking for. Frames that look like that. All this up here, we want it to look like this. Be capped. But the moisture content is where we want it to be. Yeah, what the bees will do is they'll uh, they'll take that nectar and they'll process it. And then when it's just the right... See down here, it's not quite... Down here is the nectar that's been put in there. See how shiny that is? It's like a liquid. And then when it's ready, they'll put that wax capping over it. Almost like a lid on a jar. And then it's ready to harvest. So I'm gonna, store it that way. I'm gonna shake these bees off and I'm gonna put some more foundation in here so these bees don't get, I guess, bound up. And that'll go with me. We'll put it on another hive that needs it or a small split. Yeah, when you do splits, you, they need to have food resources. So it's good to put some honey in there with them to make sure they have And the this food colony's they need. got plenty of food. They need space to lay because we got a good queen in here. These are brand new frames. This is yeah, what it's we got that plastic, and it's got like a it's got a wax, a wax coating. coating on it, like a thick wax coating on it. And so that kind of helps stimulate the bees to draw it out like that, right so there. So we're gonna do what I call the checkerboard. So we're gonna put this frame of brood right there. Now checkerboarding is something you mostly do. You don't want to do it if it's cold, right? Right. Only if it's warm out. Only if it's it warm, here, right? and they got resources to build it out. So we're just gonna alternate each comb with the foundation and slowly encourage these bees to keep building. And that is the key here. And this will give them something to do so they won't have a swarming impulse. And we, we didn't find the queen. We don't necessarily need to. We know she's in here. We got eggs. If she's not in here, they have the resources to make a new one. I mean, there's eggs right there. So before I squeeze this last frame in, I'm gonna shake them off. That'll help protect them because when you put them in there, if there's a bunch of bees, they can they can roll each other. Rolling as it rolls down, it can smash some of the bees. So we're trying to protect the bees here. And we don't want to smash the queen on accident. Hopefully, they will continue to build. We may open up another colony. Let's see if we can find the queen and show you what that looks like. I can't believe Look that. Look at this. We got us a colony swarming over here. So I'm standing right in the middle of them. They're gonna land on one of these bushes. They always do. That tree or that bush over there. I can't believe they're swarming. I just split that hive two weeks ago. It's crazy. Okay, we decided we'd try and find the queen so you can see what that looks like. And what do we have, Davis? We got a uh, nice little Italian queen right here. Look how pretty she is. She is laid out about all these cells. Look how big she is. Holy cow. Yeah, that is a... She's a monster queen. Pretty she's, large queen. To be a brand new queen, she is just big. Yeah, this she's queen really This queen was born about three weeks ago. Made the split, and here she is blowing it out again. So we're oh, going to make awesome. some more splits out of her. How many hives you got, Davis? <sighs> Somewhere around 300. <laughs> Davis knows what he's doing. There, there she, she goes. goes. She's she is a beautiful out. queen. She is incredible. All right. And we're going to put her in a new box and make a split and then we'll put this split in the same location and all these high all the frames that remain we'll add a new queen to so so we'll have pretty much gonna take this top box and 
put it into this box, all the frames in this top box. Gonna introduce like a, a queen Probably, that's already mated, you think? Yeah, uh, gonna introduce a mated queen to the remainder. Let them sit queenless today and tomorrow introduce a, a mated queen. And probably what I'll do is add a, take this top box, put it on this new box, this frame that was here, put it there. So they can start moving up. Yeah, and we're gonna double check this box, make sure we have brood and whatnot here that can support a new queen. And we will take this bottom box completely with us. Um, yeah, there's a lot of brood in this bottom box, isn't so, there? So yeah, so what we're gonna do is we will take this with us I'm going to take this right here and put it up here. And then that's going to get a, a sheet of foundation to give them something to do in the meantime. <laughs> when you get up to this point, all you're trying to do is just buy yourself time Keep them so these bees don't get away from you. When you move, there are a bunch of field bees, and those are the oldest bees. And if you leave them with a new queen, they might not take it. So it's always wise to take your split and move it and let the original queen here get the field bees. And what we'll do here is I think I got some, some old, some comb. We'll give them some of this comb. And then I think we need two more sheets of foundation. The original queen's gonna stay right here. Field bees will come back. There's a lot of bees and a lot of breed and that split he's gonna take away. He'll introduce the queen in there soon. So we're gonna move this to the other side of the yard. Just gonna put it right over there. Never gets old. No, it never gets old. The march. Never gets old, catch a storm. It's like number 30 for the year. It never gets old. Running in, man. Running in. Give him about five minutes. <laughs> Might be a little gross. They don't like it? You're ruining that scent. Huh. Okay. And it works. Watch. They won't land on this post anymore. So just spit on the hands and put on the Bad breath. Look. You're right, man. Check it out. Who knew? Looks <laughs> like you got him, Davis. That looks like I did. Let's see my trick works. Yeah, it sure does. You can use anything to match that scent. Just spit in your hand and rub it on there. Huh. And that odor where they were landing is gone. That tagging odor is gone. Huh. Mm -hmm. There she is. There she is. She go down here? Yeah, she just dipped down. Yeah. Got her. Verified, baby. All right. Got us a swarm. All right. And remember my trick. It works every time. I hear that. Spit on your hands. Rub it where they the were. And they won't go back to it. They won't go back to exactly that post. On there. Look, there she is. Look. There she is right there. Good, get in there. Get that first. What'd y'all think? That was fun. We ended up quite the adventure today. Appreciate yeah. it, Davis. Thanks for coming, Bruce, and filming. Yeah. Saw a few things. Saw the inside of a hive. Saw a swarm. Saw some split in action. And saw the queen. A lot of fun, man. That's how beekeeping is, though. You just you start off with the goal in mind, and you end up seeing a lot of things sometimes that you that you got to address immediately. And you just that's just how it is. And so that was a blast. Hey, if you guys like this video, if you hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos with Davis, put it in the comment section below. We may get out to some of his uh, more commercial bee yards and, and see kind of how he runs things out there with his splits and stuff, and how he does a lot of splits in a hurry. It's sure a super is. busy time of the year right now for us. So sure is. I gotta go get in my bees, Davis, so I'm gonna let you go, man. All right, Bruce. Be hey, safe. Y'all take care and be safe. All right.